Hey guys, welcome back to Dandelion Dreams Homestead. If you're new to the channel, uh, I'm Raymond and this is Erica, uh, and this is our farm. Well, we have some exciting new things that are getting started on the homestead this week, and in preparation for that, we have to move some things around. So the first step is we actually need to move our coop here. We have our coop and a small run that the chickens actually don't even use because they free range all day. But we need to readjust our run because we're gonna be using the space right next to the coop. So today we're going to be clearing out some of the brambles that are behind it. We're gonna be moving the run and then we're gonna be moving our silkies back over here. We recently purchased some more silky hens and a rooster plus four little chicks and we have had them separated from our other flock. We wanted to make sure that they were healthy and they weren't going to bring any sickness to our other birds. So we have them out in um, one of the unused emu runs right now and we want to go ahead and bring them over here to the run so they can start sleeping in the coop and integrate with our other birds. We are gonna be using that run for something else and so we just need to get things prepared and moved over today. So that's what we're going to start on right now. Yeah, it's not just one, it's a couple things that are going on. Uh, so we got kind of multiple projects that are gonna be hitting next week, so we gotta get uh, things moving. Ooh. Just go with it. It's crazy windy here today, but it's just gonna get worse as the week goes on. We're expecting rain and thunderstorms and high levels of wind the next few days, so hopefully we can get everything we need done today. But as you can see, this area behind the coop, here's the back of the coop right here. And then it's just some saplings, some brambles, and then we have these big trees that actually are turkeys, guineas, and peacocks all roosting at night. So we definitely wanna keep those big trees and we wanna keep those accessible for them. But all this little stuff just needs to go. So we're gonna cut down some of these little saplings and build the fence back this way. Um, if you see that big tree in the back there, that is where our property line ends on this side. So that's as far as we're gonna run the chicken run. Now there is a slight incline right here, so we're hoping that we can still run the fence this way and not have a big gap anywhere under the fence for the chickens just to run out for the ones that we do wanna keep in this area. We would like to be able to still use this coop when we do want to have the chickens stay in there. Most of them fly out, but the silkies don't really fly out. But also we like to use this area for our emus when they're still babies, but old enough to start having some time outside. So we don't want to have any gaps under there that they're just gonna crawl under and run off. So we still want it to be pretty much flush with the ground, but we are hoping to be able to make it up this hill without any gaps. So that's the challenge today. We're gonna to go with it, see how it goes, and then adjust from there. We've been using a lot of tarps to keep the rain and the snow off the chickens. We've been putting tarps in the corner of the coop with some straw underneath so they have a warm place to run and hide 
from these storms. So trying to take those down now. But of course the wind is crazy. <laughs> it's picking up blow everywhere. If you've watched any of our videos, you know it's not a project on our homestead if we don't find buried, broken glass. This time, apparently, it's a mirror. So there's quite a pile of broken mirror pieces and frame over here under some logs under the dirt that the chickens are easily going to scratch and get to. So I think we're gonna go ahead and make the run a little bit shorter because we're never gonna get all those pieces. So we're gonna clean up what we can, but we're gonna run the run right in front of it that they're less likely to dig right there. But we have this shed that's been here since we moved in and we haven't done anything with it right now. It's basically just storing spiders and spider webs. So we're going to try to move this somewhere else and hopefully utilize it and then this will also be part of their run.
will also hopefully eliminate the chickens going underneath the feed trailer to lay all their eggs. Looks like we have a couple nests under there. And then since the coop will be going up against the trailer, we're just going to block off this wood underneath there so they can't get under there. Can I drag out that egg? Oh, there's two eggs. They're duck eggs. I got six eggs here. Six? Yep. Looks like we had two ducks laying in there. We got Ooh. six more duck eggs to add to the incubator. Well, it looks like we have a broody chicken under here that does not want to come out. We don't know how many eggs she's on or if she's just maybe just trying to lay an egg, but I guess we'll have to work around that for now. Hopefully this works in our favor and it's not like super challenging now to get the folks back in in the new position. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we save some time. Let's note, this is Erica's idea, so if it works out great, it was my idea. If it works out horribly, then it's her fault. super windy, the camera kept falling over so we had to put it away for a bit, but we did wind up having to take apart the fence from the posts, unfortunately. Learn from our mistakes. So we just couldn't get the fence tight enough with them already together. So luckily it wasn't hard to remove the fence from the post even when I was laying down, so it didn't take up any extra time. But after running the kids to sports and stuff, we're back we're trying to get this done before sun sets we only have about an hour left so we're just going to attach the fence now and hopefully get this run finished 
This makes the coop slightly smaller than it was before, but this is not by much at all. So, plus it gives them more of this um, woods and brambles where a lot of bugs hang out. A lot more to eat. Just trying to get this wire. There you go. We got everything reconfigured for the chicken run and the chicken coop. So, and they already seem to be enjoying it. They're back here scratching at the wooded area and the area where we used to keep the rabbit uh, Hufflepuff since uh, we had baby rabbits. So, uh, they're having fun with it. Uh, but this is one of those things we needed to move over quickly because of stuff that's happening next week. Um, we're going to move the silkies over probably tomorrow uh, to get them acclimated. Hopefully, the storm's not too bad. Um, but we also wanted to give you an update on Edwina and the baby emus. So we had two baby emus hatch, what, the last three days? So we had one that hatched today and one that hatched three days ago. Um, and they're both blondes. So we're pretty excited about that. Uh, so what's that, five out of five? Five out of five. Five out of five, the yep. blonde uh, emus from Edwina and uh, Diamond Destiny. So uh, Edwina is still laying on the eggs and we're gonna let them go ahead and continue laying on the eggs uh, until hatch day. We counted and we think we have Seven. seven. Uh, you know, we're just reaching under counting and you know making sure we're not counting the same egg twice. So we have at least six, at least six, possibly seven, underneath the Duina, but he won't move and we can't count them visually, so we just kind of have to reach blindly in there and count. So uh yeah, he's just sitting out there. I haven't we haven't seen him get up, drink water, or eat or anything, so he's pretty pretty relaxed in there. But we're excited for what's coming this week. Um, if you don't follow us already, hit the subscribe button. And also follow us on Facebook and TikTok so you can continue to see all of our updates. And we hope you all have a great week. Yeah, thanks for stopping by.